Wow. Big one? It's humongous. It's a big one. I caught it out in the slack water right out there. It's letting my indicator drift right down. It's a big fish. Nice. Come on, fish with Latin and you'll have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wild Yukon or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. We're heading in to fish the mouth of the St. Regis River. It's just a short walk here where it comes into the Clark Fork. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's late October. It's a pretty cold day. But we got a couple hours to fish in the afternoon, evening, and we'll see if we can catch anything. Steve was downstream swinging some streamers, and I was working kind of an area between two seams. And all of a sudden, my indicator went down, and I was into a big fish. It got to be a five pound brown. It's got to be five pounds. I saw it come out of the water. Oh man. Wow. Big one? It's humongous. It's a big one. I caught it out in the slack water right out there. It's letting my indicator drift right down. It's a big fish. Nice. Oh boy, that's yeah, a beautiful see. fish. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Wow. For sure. It's hard to, this current. Oh my gosh, that's super a big strong. fish. Oh my gosh. That's a monster brown. Yeah, it is. There she goes. Saw me. Yeah. Would it be? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a way to get it out of the current. Yeah. Maybe up here. Yeah. It's a little slack. Oh my gosh. That's a four pound brown. Mm -hmm. Thanks for saving me, Steve. I went in the water, but, what, but the reward is worth it. Oh my, my gosh. gosh, look at that brown. Yeah, oh. you were given every reach to oh, yeah. get that thing in the net. Went a little too high. Oh, that's okay. Ooh, nice fish. Wow. Nice. Wow. Man alive. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I got a little excited to land into that thing, but I was casting my <laughs> nymph set up right out in this foamy water. And about, I don't know, 20 yards down, my indicator went down, and then I set the hook, and that thing came out of the water. It wasn't on camera, but just a big jump, and I knew it was a huge fish. And it was a hard fight. I mean, even to the end of it, I got it close, but I just couldn't get it to the net. So I kind of did a back flop, I guess is what you'd call it, but it got it in the net, and man alive, it was worth every minute of it. Unbelievable. Every fish. drop of water down your boots? Yes, I, 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 I was already pre hypothermic. <laughs> so now I think I'm in trouble, but what the heck? Yeah, big brown. brown. Oh At my. least three pounds. Yeah, oh, maybe four. Gorgeous. Beautiful yeah, fish. Yeah, huge, huge brown. St. Regis River? Yeah, mouth. just at the mouth of St. Regis River here at the Clark Fork. I'm just fishing in the late fall. Uh, at the end of October here, I think it's like the 26th, 27th, and uh, it's cold as heck. But there's one beautiful fish right there. 
This is the setup I use to catch up beautiful fish. Um, about six or seven feet up, I have a strike indicator. But below that, I have a pats. And below the pats, I'm fishing this little pheasant tail nymph, and it hit the pats. 